Before July 2019, nobody had ever heard of Dream. Get him, George. Yeah, the tons of table Dream. Yeah, Dream, come on. But in just a year and a half, he went from an absolute nobody to one of the biggest names on YouTube with 15 million subscribers. Back when I was growing really fast, there was a YouTube bot that used to tweet out all the fastest growing YouTubers on the entire platform. And I was number one like five days in a row. That kind of massive sudden success would change anyone's life. But for Dream, not all those changes were positive. I find it incredibly hard to believe that Dream would cheat, but man, I don't know how you dispute this shit. Dream's incredible rise to fame was unprecedented, but it didn't come without controversy or mistakes. It's the story of a kid who set out to reach the top, but wasn't totally ready for what he found there. Dream grew up wanting to be a YouTuber. Like many people his age, he wanted to be just like his favorite YouTube stars, a career older generations couldn't even imagine. My entire life, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. I used to do vlogs when I was a kid. I ran a sports-related channel. I ran a politics-related channel. I ran a lot of different channels. After trying and failing to get those concepts off the ground, Dream turned to Minecraft. And the pig just blew up my house. His channel was clearly trying to entertain, but he also knew what set off the Minecraft community. One of my strategies when I was starting YouTube was to use Reddit to my advantage because any post can go viral on Reddit, even if you have no followers or anything. But Dream's early success was still tied to the titans of YouTube he looked up to as a kid. And that came with controversy. This is the team that found PewDiePie's Minecraft World Seed. Yes, that randomly generated number that had over 18 quintillion possibilities. This is the team that found that number just by watching PewDiePie. Dream managed to figure out the world seed used by PewDiePie for his Minecraft playthrough, meaning that Dream had access to PewDiePie's world. And that made Pewds fans worry that his playthrough might get spoiled as a result. This really sucks because he posted this video after we had already released the seed. PewDiePie seemed to be worried about spoilers and so he was gonna wait. Now, I do wanna say first things first, I'm sorry PewDiePie. If you had posted this just a couple hours earlier, you would have had your wish. But Dream continued to put out videos that targeted Minecraft players, ignoring anyone he pissed off along the way. Minecraft was blowing up on YouTube and Dream was getting bigger and bigger by releasing content that put a new spin on the old game. This video, we coded it ourselves so that random items drop when you break a block. But there's a couple twists from the norm. One, it's actually completely random, so some items may be removed from the game, whereas some items may be in the game multiple times. Two, the number of items the block drops is random, so it can drop one or it can drop one million and crash our games. It seemed like Dream had perfectly set himself up for YouTube stardom. He had a nose for great video ideas, a likable personality, and of course, the mysterious appeal of a masked man. In late 2019, a couple of big video hits with innovative gimmicks gave Dream a bump in popularity, and he hit a million subscribers by the end of the year. And over the course of 2020, Dream's YouTube channel managed to become even more popular. Please just leave me alone. Why would we leave you alone, silly boy? Oh, and this Enderman's on me. Why do the Endermans hate me? Series like Minecraft Manhunt did a lot to popularize Dream as not only entertaining, but also a legitimately good Minecraft player. This video is an absolutely new and unique challenge. I'm gonna try and beat Minecraft before my friend kills me once. If I die, the video is over and I lose. My friend gets a compass to track me and can respawn infinitely. The outplays, big brain moments, and banter between Dream and his companions pushed his popularity to a whole new level. Get him, get him, George. Yeah, the tons of table, Dream. Yeah, Dream, come on. No! No! Oh, the skeleton! Yes, get him, skeleton, get him! Oh, oh, now she's shooting me. Oh my god. Dream's rise was literally unprecedented. In the span of a year, he went from an absolute nobody to one of the biggest content creators in gaming. And people didn't even know what he looked like. 
I actually first started planning to be a YouTuber probably in January 2019, but I didn't upload my first video until July 2019. I actually have this funny screenshot of me telling my friend Lakota that I planned it all out and that I was going to be a big YouTuber, and that was in February 2019, about four months before I posted my first video. It's been super crazy, and I, I remember back when I was growing really fast, there was a YouTube bot that used to tweet out all the fastest growing YouTubers on the entire platform, and I was number one like five days in a row, and I thought that was super insane. Dream success morphed into something even bigger, most notably the Dream SMP, or Survival Multiplayer Minecraft server, where Pete and his friends, including the Dream team, wove narratives through roleplay. Countless storylines were chronicled by Dream's fans, and Dream himself even started rubbing shoulders with celebrities, like Lil Nas X, who toured the server. Oh, that's the castle. It's Eric's castle. Sick. By December 2020, Dream had gone from 1 million subscribers to 15 million. He was collaborating with massive names like Corpse Husband and Mr. Beast, and was an important influencer with his own merch and a legion of fans. There was just one problem. A couple months earlier, Dream made a mistake that threatened to destroy his entire YouTube empire. In 2020, Dream started speedrunning a specific Minecraft category called Any% Random Seed Glitchless, which is basically a race to kill the Ender Dragon in a randomly seeded world. And in October, Dream submitted a time for that category that made him the sixth fastest player in the world. Oh my god, is it time? Is it time? You have 18 seconds. You have 18, you have 18 seconds. seconds. Come on. Get in! Get in! Get in. Get in. <laughs> no way! Yes! Yes! But soon after, the mods at speedrun.com decided to look a little deeper into Dream's times. See, in order to complete Minecraft, you have to get these rare items called Ender Pearls to let you access the area where you can fight the Ender Dragon. But Dream was able to get these items a lot more consistently than mere luck should have allowed. See, Dream was getting pearl drops at an astronomically high rate, a rate that led YouTubers like Shell Guy and Video Game Donkey to publish videos accusing Dream of cheating across recent speedruns he had streamed on Twitch. A speedrun.com mod named GeoSquare eventually revealed the mod team's findings. Dream's luck wasn't just improbable, it was basically impossible. Now, this really isn't looking too good for Dream. Biasing in favor of him, giving very favorable circumstances, and assuming the best, the odds for all this happening is still around 1 in 678 trillion. As a result of that investigation, Dream's record was taken off the leaderboards. So I understood absolutely nothing when it came to the game, but the math behind that is so f***ing wild. I find it incredibly hard to believe that Dream would cheat, especially in what's not even a world record run. But man, I don't know how you dispute this shit. I can tell you guys immediately, this like, dude, this is so lucky, it makes no sense. But despite denying that he cheated, Dream's internet fame was creating more complications. He was doxxed when someone used photos of his home to track down his address and release it to the public. Another YouTuber, John Swan, impersonated him, sending racist messages to people. And as a now massive celebrity, Dream's tweets, messages, and even his attitude were constantly scrutinized. Going either way, you know, consent is a whole thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what the <laughs> f***? Don't make me get Don't make me get Topo in here, Ninja. Don't make me get Topo in here. Don't make me Jesus Christ. I know it's legal, oh, Jesus. Look at that Dream. <laughs> don't make me get Topo in here. Even Dream's fan base started causing problems, going after anyone who dared to criticize their hero. By May 2020, Dream had finally had enough. The constant barrage of hate from all sides got to him, and he came clean. Dream admitted that his speedrun wasn't legit, saying that he discovered evidence that item probabilities had been modified in his speedrun by server-side add-ons that he claimed he didn't know about. He also apologized for his strong reactions to the initial claims that he cheated. Now, in admitting he cheated, he also apologized, but it wasn't really an apology, and the response from those who aren't diehard Dream fans has been one giant scoff. I had considered at the time that this potentially could have been a problem, but brushed it off because one, server side and client side are completely different, and as far as I was aware, nothing had been done client side. Two, as far as I knew, it was just basically a chat mod so far. And three, I was 99% sure that I didn't even have the recording mod on which was backed up by the Fabric API logs, saying that only the Fabric API was loaded." End quote. The cheating question was finally answered, but it raised a few others. 
Why did Dream take so long to admit he cheated? Had he really never considered how he got that lucky? And where did this leave his future and fandom? Like, if he had just come out and been straight with everyone and said something like, you know what, I f***ed up, I did cheat, I apologize, my bad, this whole situation would have been a non-starter in my opinion. When you finish Minecraft, there's a sequence to plays before you see the credits. It's a cryptic message, part short story, part psychedelic stream of consciousness. It's directed at the player, and at the end, it offers hope for a new beginning. And the game is over, and the player will go from the dream, and the player will get a new dream, and the player will dream again. Dream for that. You are the player. We got you. Dream clearly made mistakes, but he also brought something new and fresh to Minecraft, a scene with a deep history and a keen sense of wonder. It's impossible to predict what he'll do in the future. So far, the controversies haven't had a substantial impact on his popularity. But one thing seems clear. In 2021, there is a legion of fans hoping that Dream will begin a new dream. And that this time, he'll dream better. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.